Here we go. The Big Guy Show. An action-packed adventure. Lakember, are you muted again? Because I can't hear you. Hello? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I couldn't tell if your mouth was moving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, mm. Well, no, we already started. I did the intro just then. Whenever Lakembra is not talking, all the other characters should be asking, Lakembra, are you muted? <laughs> The camera saying nothing if you're gay. Hello. Hello, and welcome oh. to the Big Guy Show. My name's Hard Men Working Hard here. Don't, don't say that. People already think that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Men, camera. Singular. And he's. Yeah. I'm the camera. Hard. Hello. And Vis is here. Hey. And Zenki's here. Hello. This is the show what for a, the big... Oh. What an action-packed intro. Action. Yeah. Yeah, action, action, action. All right, I'm going to move this microphone now. No. Okay. No, this is uh, the bit. This is the big... Yeah. This is, okay, this is the show for the big guys, our big patrons, and we answer their big questions, and their names are 688 Attack Sub, Apex, Downy Dolphin, Michael V., Nick Davis, Teddy Bear Syrup, and Umpty Madu. Thank you, big guys, for your big bucks. We love you, bigly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> our Th- first thank big, you. Our first big, big schwen, big, nah, I couldn't do it. Big question is from Big T, Big Do. Oh, I love that guy. Uh, man, they put in. They've sent in a lot of. Que- well, Umpty Madu has sent in a lot of questions, and uh, are any of them good? Let's hear the questions. He writes, "Lakembra, will you please rap this song I wrote for you?" No. He also writes, "What does HMWH stand for?" This. It doesn't stand for this. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that starts with a V. Yeah, oh. like Michael V. <laughs> Love that guy. Yeah, <laughs> same. Uh, all right, good, good. He also writes, what's a music? That's well. Okay. Hello? He also writes, how do you pee with a boner? <laughs> Please, um, please help. I keep getting the wall umpty, yeah. covered in uh, pee. Umpty Madu, uh, special instructions specifically for you. Yeah. Get a meat cleaver or <laughs> actually preferably a, a blunter knife and then cut your dick off. Then send it to us, hard men working hard. Uh, <laughs> send it to this. This one. You got to, you got to like, like, uh, Get a pipe cleaner in there, man. It's all clogged up. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah, a catheter. Or like, what's um? You, you need to get like a. You know when like you you get a hole in your tire and you get the tire plug and you have to like puncture the tire and like ream it out. Mm. Mm, ream it you out. Need to get one of the, yeah, you need to get one of them. Ream out your cock hole. Nice yeah. ream then, job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, he also writes. Would you rather have a neo vagina or taste buds in your rectum? I think you already have taste buds in your rectum, right? That's why you can tell when, when, like, a, a chili shit, like that's why it hurts, because it's some kind of like because taste buds they're the same as um nerves. Yes, exactly. Like pain receptors. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, I never knew what like <laughs> so, ring burn that's why was. I, that's why I, I throw yeah. up every time I shit. Yeah. When I'm yeah, sl- that happens to me when I've got like a really big shit. You know when you get those huge shits, yeah, and you just need to throw up when you're <laughs> shitting, but you know that you can't possibly do both. Yeah, like it would it would be it would be embarrassing if someone found you laying on the bathroom floor <laughs> covered in vomit and shit. Um, yeah. Um, this, what does being on fire taste like? Um, uh, every yeah. shit I've ever done. <laughs> yeah. All at once or, or every shit tastes <laughs> yeah. like being on fire? Yeah. Someone lights yeah. you on fire. You're like, oh my God, I feel like I'm shitting every shit I've ever shat. 
<laughs> Man, would you rather your dick be burnt off or would you rather like your asshole be burnt off? I feel asshole. like I'd rather my dick burnt off, man. Can you burn off an asshole? Well, like it would just be forever like burnt. Forever burnt, I suppose. Like <laughs> just, I mean, just drill a new hole. I, I love that song. I've, yeah, forever burnt my asshole off. <laughs> um <laughs> I feel like there's a lot more moving parts with your anal sphincter that would hurt. Whereas if you just like burnt your dick off, uh-huh. I feel like there, there might still be a, a small enough hole to allow piss through. It's not a very whereas complex big, organ, the penis. Whereas big shits require expansion through burnt tissue, mm. I imagine that would be worse. It's like, than- a, it's like an Olympic lift. It's a very technical process. Lots of yeah. moving parts. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, it's like a tire plug, right? So you just, you just you have drill to ream a new out your hole. Asshole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ream it out and then <laughs> just put a, a, a tire plug in there. In yeah. fact, maybe and like then, those um, like those dumbbells that have like different weights and like adjustables. It's like that, but it's like a plug and it's just depending on the size of the shit. You know, you only take out the center of the whole thing. Yeah, um, you could get one of those neo anuses. Mm. And anus. <laughs> what are they made out of? They're made out of, um, I don't know, a, a woman's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I might get one of those. <laughs> he also writes When I presented you guys with the option between dual crab claw penises and a single prehensile penis, you mm. guys chose the prehensile penis. Yeah. Follow up. Prehensile penis or impenetrable anus? Prehensile penis. Yeah, same. I'll use it to yeah. cover up my anus. <laughs> yeah, you can defend it. Yeah. What if I want to use- Give him a little sword. Mm. What if I want to use an anal thermometer to take my temperature? I won't be able to do that with an impenetrable what if you wanna, anus. Yeah, what if you want to take a shit? What if I want to have oh. gay butt sex in the yeah. anus? I'll never be yeah. able to taste another man's cock again. <laughs> yeah. The- <laughs> I mean, you could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I could De- no. <laughs> This is like, damn, this cock is fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Umdi Madu. Excellent mm. questions. Wow. I, Fantastic. You send in so many questions that I don't want to do the work of putting the text on screen. So I'm just going to put them all here now. Hell yeah. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Uh, this, what were you pointing at? Don't the make questions. the camera do more work. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can just zoom in. Re- you, you know, no, yeah. yeah, no, you're right. <clears throat> zoom in really slowly over the course of this entire <laughs> question. <laughs> to, to that point, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. No worries. Um, okay. Our next question comes from Teddy Bear Syrup, and he writes Hello, Wakanda Forever. Hey. Blade, Dune 2, God of War Ragnarok, Twilight Zone. Reddit? Uh, Dune 2. Yeah. I'm assuming yeah, these are choice. movies that are coming out. Yeah, I think that was, that was the release date of one of them, I think. Uh, what was? <laughs> Dune 2. <laughs> I intentionally yeah. tried not to say it like that, but you still did the joke. <laughs> D- Dune. Dune. How do you say it? I just, I really prefer saying it the American if way. If I'm saying it normally, I'll say June 2. June, If I'm yeah. trying not to say it like that to avoid this pointing it out, I'll say Dune 2. <laughs> I just want to say Dune. Dune? That's pretty Dune. good. Yeah. I just like keeping, keeping D's as about, D's about, and not as J's. What about how, nuts? How, how, how about, how do you say two? Chew? Chew? Do? Dune, do, yeah. Dune, do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Dune, that's, that's how Dune. the French say it. Dune, mm, yeah. do. <laughs> <laughs> do. <laughs> do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Homer Simpson, am I right? Yeah. yeah you're right. Yeah. True. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Teddy Bear Syrup. That was an excellent question. Questions. Good job. Was it? Yeah. Um, well, he put a question mark after each of those titles. Do we have to answer oh, every question? Yeah. Wakanda forever. No. 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 Yeah. Blade? Yes. No. Um. Some motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate uphill. Yeah. Some of them are just always trying to ask bad questions on this show. It's, <laughs> yeah. It's Teddy Bear Syrup, by yeah. the way. He's, he's kind of like Blade in that sense. Yeah. In that he is. Oh, I can't say the word. 
Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he's. You're- what's the name of the villain in the in the first movie? Um, Deacon Frost. Yeah, he's like Deacon Frost because he's yeah. the motherfucker trying to ice. Because he has a, a blade. Uh, well, not blade. He has a a blade for a penis. He has, yeah, he's yeah, got like a um, frost bitten penis. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Right. yeah. What if Deacon Frost bit your penis? What? If? That's what I call frostbite. Yeah, man, that should have been in the movie. He should have bitten yeah. someone. That would be the line, by the way. I mean, he is a vampire. Yeah. Surely he bit someone, and they didn't say that line. Mm. Yeah. What a terrible movie. <sighs> um. Yeah. It's all right. Blade Do uh, is better. Yeah, Blade Do is good. Uh, except for that one scene where he flips around as a CGI character. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty... Didn't age well. Mm. It looked like Gumby or something. I don't know. What about Blade Dree? That's my favorite one, mm. and it's the best one, but it's the it's worst not, one. It's not the best one. It's so bad, but it's good. It's just unintentionally hilarious. Who directed 3? Three? 3 was directed by... David Doyer? Oh, he, he's like a guy that writes a bunch of movies. David Doyer. Um... What? David Doya. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Who was Diamo Del Doro. Yeah, and number one was Nobody directed number one. That was a it, documentary. It just happened. Documentaries don't have directors, by the way. <laughs> oh, that the first one was written by David Doya. Yeah. And it was directed by Stephen <laughs> Dorrington. David Goya. Got David it. Goya? Yeah. Twice. Yeah. The hell has this Dorrington Goya. guy even mm. done? He's he's directed four movies. The last movie he directed was The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Oh, hell yeah. And then no one gave him work ever again. Yeah, no. that's it. He just called it quits yeah. after that. I, I'm surprised that like they won't give this guy another chance after League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, but that that guy who directed District Nine is still making movies. So like, His next one's gonna going be on great, there? I swear. <laughs> gonna Doesn't be great. he make YouTube? You, 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 even that was like YouTube, YouTube, uh, YouTube, yeah. YouTube. He has um, a YouTube channel, Oat Studios. Yeah, yeah, that was a long time one. ago. I don't think he's done. It one was in a, a long while. time. Ago. Yeah, he um he wanted to Are try you- to make some money, so he decided to make a film during COVID that sucked, and he made no money again. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> they they Blade? published <laughs> something sucked. recently, and it did suck. It was dem- demonic, and oh, he did all right. he did all of these um. He was trying to like do the marketing rounds with all the media journalists. And one of them was a guy, it was on Red Letter Media. One of them was a guy who just pulled over to the side of the road and did like a Skype call from his car and <laughs> interviewed him. Jesus while Christ. the while the director's background was like half of the poster poorly cropped. It, oh, it's just hell yeah. Yeah. Anyway, he's from South Africa. We should give him a pass. Yeah, that's true. The N word pass. Uh, he already has that. He's he from be South Africa. That to us, that's right. Yeah, he's he's a, an African Canadian. Mm. Oof, the best yeah. kind of Canadian. Can Charlize Theron say the N word? Yeah, Charlize Theron. Theron, yeah, yeah, that's him. And he says that all the time. <laughs> yeah. He won't shut up, in fact. They put him in a mental hospital because he wouldn't stop saying it. It's the only thing he could say. Mm. Based. Yeah. That's a Marvel villain. It's coming up in um, uh, N-Word Mania. Yeah. Man yeah. Or something. I want to I say his name, the Dr. Hideo Slurs. Kojima version. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That works too. Hell yeah. Um, uh, yep. That's God, hot. God of War Ragnarok? Um... I don't know. That looks like a God of War game. Yeah, I saw a you funny video on Twitter. Yeah, um, how was it? It was Atreus. He kept saying, "There's like a crack in the wall over there." And oh, he kept saying yeah. it. It was really funny. <laughs> like all these moments, like all these serious moments, and then the the, the same voice line. Oh, like didn't it was even like a glitch, like the short. I don't know glitch. if it was a glitch. I think it was meant to be like a gameplay element. But it was like in oh. different scenes of the game. They had the same repeating voice line. Right, 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 right. If I were in the studio, I would have said, hey, Atreus, maybe we can get a few variations of that take if we know that we're going to put it in the game one million times. You would address him by Atreus? I don't know his real name. 
Like maybe you, you know maybe his real him. name? No, but yeah, I'm just saying. Is Atreus there in the studio? I thought he would be busy saving the world or whatever the fuck happens in that game. He doesn't exist, Viss. He's not real. Oh. It was a yeah. huge blow. S- spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> spoilers, Reddit. <laughs> yeah. Fictional things aren't real. What? Um, Twilight Zone? No. I don't, I've never seen an episode of the Twilight Zone, and yeah. I'm not about to start. I've only seen the scary door in Futurama. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I prefer the scary door. Yeah, same. All right, thanks, Teddy Bear Syrup. Well done. Good questions. That's all the questions we have today. All right. Well, see ya. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Done for like fifteen minutes. Yeah. Can we? Um. I, I don't know. Like, can we make up questions? Like stuff that six eighty eight might have said. Okay. Uh, he would. would I'm said? gay. He, he would either say something incredibly like. Uh, uh, like homoerotic, homoerotic, yeah. or uh, or just a genuine question about music and something like that. I don't know where the chords are. Six eighty eight. <laughs> I'll give or them that. to you when yeah. I find them. Yeah, yeah. same. Um, <sighs> he'll probably ask a question about Akubras. He'll probably question our sexuality, um, citizenship. So, there and yeah. yeah, I don't know. Six eighty eight. Um, if you know what you would say, send us an yeah. email. <laughs> yeah. With what you he's gonna have he's said. gonna be mad because yeah. I didn't give him. You gave events. him about three seconds. Oh, like, look! I asked him. Yeah. Um. Fifty minutes ago, for yeah. questions. Oh wait, I think really? That's reasonable. What time is it there? I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> he, he messaged me. He messaged me not long ago on this uh, on this platform of Discord. Yeah. Yeah. All right, he well, was awake three hours ago. I assume he's still awake. People still don't just go to bed <laughs> within three hours, surely. Yeah. It's a long what? process. Yeah. It's like the seasons. Mm-hmm. Takes it's a while. It's daylight savings, so he's awake for longer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wow, good question, 688 Attack Sub. Thanks, yeah, man. not bad. Yeah. Um. I am gay. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Um, Danny Dolphin, he would have said something like, uh, do, I, do you sleep on your stomach or your side or your back? Side. Uh, stomach, but then my side and then my back. So, you know, like, yeah, I'm, like, a bit, I'm, I'm like, a bit like the same. A, he's a yeah. crocodile. Because yeah. I'm death roll. <laughs> yeah, I'm just death roll in bed for eight hours. Yeah. I'm looking at my phone, so like I heat up too much on one side, so I have to keep alternating and rearranging my pillows until I'm actually mm-hmm. prepared to sleep. And yeah. then generally it's probably my stomach. Yeah. I get um, I get really autistic. I kind of do this whole thing where like I have to lie like perfectly flat for like five minutes uh and then I'll like roll onto my side or whatever. Good yeah. question, like Danny a, Dolphin. Like yeah. Tutankhamen. Carmen. <laughs> yeah, yeah kind of. Yeah, only um, unfortunately, I'm still alive. Yeah, what would other people ask? Who else I don't know that? what Michael V would ask. Yeah, no. what would Michael V ask? He'd be like, "What's your favorite letter of the alphabet?" And I would reply <laughs> with the letter V, of course. Of course, my yeah. favorite Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Not. <laughs> <laughs> Not. <laughs> what is your favorite uh, Metal Gear Solid? Good question, Michael V. Yeah, number three. Uh, it's number two. three. Nah, it's yeah, two. number three is the correct answer. Mm. Two actually has something to say. Number what three is, is a better game, uh, and I don't care about bad. what people have to say. Mm. I do. I, don't, I especially don't care what Hideo Kojima has to say. If there's no he's retarded, if there's no message, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. Yeah, that's okay. why he played The Last of Us five times. What was the point of this? Yeah, well, revenge yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah. You need, you need like really sinky hours yeah. to get yeah. through those bears two repeating. words. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Were there bears in The Last of Us too? <laughs> no. Did they repeat? Yeah. yeah no. he, 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 well, after playing the game, that's a few times. false advertising. <laughs> if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> True. Um, two is the best one. Clearly, because it I, has Raiden in it, and he's cool. I thought you were talking about The Last cool. of Us. Raiden's uh, in mean, The Last of Us 2? <laughs> I'd play it if I'm, he was yeah, in The Last of I'm Us They would have gotten now. there yeah. way quicker. 
<laughs> yeah, he would have come back with a head. Like, I feel like there's a big kind of revenge fun. story with Raiden as well. Is it, isn't he in a game called there Revengeance? Is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The message revenge in that game good, is a little actually. different. Yeah. 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 Revenge uh, ends. Go crazy and kill everyone. Yeah. I don't know if that was the message of that game. It was. Take but it felt spine. like it because revenge yeah. felt great. Yeah. Um, the message was... Cut people up with swords. Nano machines. Nano machines. <laughs> Nano yeah. Mach- yeah, that's it. <laughs> Which is a, a a more concise message than uh, Metal Gear Solid Two. Honestly, it's only one word. Um, that was also <laughs> um, the message of Metal Gear Solid Four. Yeah. What's the message and of three? Three is um, war never changes. I thought it was like, oh no, not the bees. Um, <laughs> that's what Kojima was trying to say. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> bees I, bad. I was yeah. stung <laughs> by a bee during production uh, lo- of two. I disavow. I love bees. <laughs> um, I also Hornets disavow bad. Hideo Kojima. Hornets bad. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. Yeah. They should. He should make a game about a guy who's a beekeeper and he has to keep all the bees across America and unite America. <laughs> so basically, death stranding, but bees. With bees, yeah. With Instead of being a UPS guy, you you're, are a, you're bee a beekeeper. Keeper. Man, that would be yeah. such a cool game. <laughs> that'd, be cool. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, man. You gotta like, like transport a queen across the entire fucking nation, and yeah. you just amass more and more bees. It's like Katamari Damachi. What's your enemy? Damachi, a, horn- a hornet. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. All right. Um. And the enemy. Yeah. The enemies are like oh, the man. bee freer. <laughs> Wasp, and it stands for weaponized autism spastic people. Who's he going to cast? Michael B. Jordan. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> is, it, is that is that Michael jo- like the basketballer? No, the he <laughs> plays the actor. B-ball. He's the actor. He plays Creed yeah. in the movie Creed. B. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't know who Michael B. Jordan is, but he I hear was- he be very Jordan. Yeah. Um, what else has he been in? <laughs> oh, he was in Wakanda movie, in the first one. He was the bad guy. He was Killmonger. He was <laughs> the a, lumpy black that's man. That's a Hideo Kojima name. <laughs> yeah, Killmonger. Killmonger. <laughs> so is lumpy black man. <laughs> Actually true. That was Those were all bee stings. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's working on a new game, Kojima. Mm. Yeah, with um, L Fanning. Yeah, it's called yeah. a game by Hideo Kojima and L Fanning. Yeah, working I hope title. It's, that's in she'll the title. have some sort of fan ability. Yeah. I hope that I just have a gun, though. I want to just kill things. Yeah, yeah, bring back war, and you know, you can try to make me feel bad about it, like you did in Metal Gear One. But I don't care. Just let me shoot things. Let me um, get inside of a, a Gundam or something. That'd be cool. Mm. Yeah. Well, like Zone of a, the Enders, a, a giant, a giant bee. Machine. He made he made two of those games. Yeah, yeah, but I want I want him to incorporate that into a modern game Do, where I can yeah. play as L Fanning and be in yeah. a big mech. It's, it's a if he does that, mech. I'm sold. Yeah, it, it's bee themed mech, of course. Yeah. Of course. Does it look yeah. like a bee, or is it just painted like a bee? It's got to look um, like a bee. <clears throat> well, it, it could do both. Why not? Mm. Why not both? Let's let's have it transform into a literal bee, and you you're, you're a big swarm. Yeah, you fly around and you sting Killmonger and make him all lumpy. And it'll have a soundtrack by the Bee Sharps or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Cool episode. These episodes you- get better every month. It definitely. No, this better. one's pretty good because I think we've been making up our own questions. Right. Uh, what does Nick Davis ask? Uh, Should I change this- my last name to Gur? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, I uh, hope he updates his Patreon name. <laughs> All right. We we missed Apex as well. What would Apex say? He would um, say something about. The Labour Party in Australia. Yeah. yeah. What do you say? Based? They're based? No. Vote one. <laughs> he would vote one nation. Yeah. Same. 
Vote Same. one. Nation. Nation. Yeah. <laughs> all right. The funny thing, like, during election time is that I just tell all my friends, hey, hell yeah, man, I'm going to vote One Nation. They all look at me and be like, ah, ha, ha, what a funny joke. Mm. And then I go into the ballot <laughs> room and then I just vote One Nation. What are That's they going to do epic. about it? That's an yeah. epic prank you pulled yeah. on them. No, it's, but like, <laughs> yeah, it, it is. <laughs> no, I just think it's funny that um, everyone thinks that it's uh, so beyond comprehension that you would do it. Mm. Um, but really, I just wanted to vote for anyone that was uh, was white. Anti sex black. party. The sex party. Yeah. Am I invited? No. <laughs> uh, then no. It's not a very good party. Then. <laughs> yeah, it's that's right. If you want to have a successful sex party, mm-hmm. invite me. Yeah. Um. I feel like non-Australians would be thinking he just made another lame joke, but that's <laughs> a real party. So yeah. Just so yeah. That. The sex party. What, There's what, also what do they stand for? What are their goals? What what's sex. the platform? Sex. Yeah, they want to have sex. Yeah. With yeah, it's a that's a platform I can get behind. Nice. Thank you. Australian sex party. Yeah, I've, I I typed in sex party, completely forgetting <laughs> what top that you're search on the would, internet. Would, yeah. yeah. It was the second result. I'm surprised. Hmm. What if um, there was like a One Nation sex party coalition and it's like sex for Australians only, no <laughs> immigrant sex? Would yeah. you be behind that? Um, no. Oh, okay. I mean, how about we just leave it at no immigrant? That's- no immigrant? Yeah. What about no immigrants? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not even allowed one. None of them. Yeah. Damn. No homers. Yeah. Australia's full. No homers. Um, um, yeah, ev- that, the sex party is for voluntary euthanasia. That's some pretty rough sex. <laughs> it's kinky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. What else are they for? <laughs> um, I'll cut this part out while you read. Involuntary yeah. euthanasia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Just I'm for the involuntary people. euthanasia of the sex party. Yeah, the surprise involuntary <laughs> euthanasia party. Surprise! These are your last moments. Take a seat. The surprise Relax. involuntary. Yeah, I thought this was a sex party. Now, now you're killing me. No, this is the involuntary <laughs> sex party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, rape party had yeah. too many bad connotations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, good question, Apex. <laughs> yeah, good yeah. question. Vote one, Labor, he says. That's what he says. Based. Wow. All right. Can I get a based check on that? No, zero. Yeah, no. 10 out of 10. I have, I'll, uh, I got a G-Force experience pop up. That's going to be in the video. Nice. The G-Spot experience yeah. in the sex party. Yeah. I've got to update yeah. my G-Spot firmware, guys. Yeah. So maybe we should wrap <laughs> things up. All right. All right. Uh, Thanks, everybody, goodbye. for your questions. Amazing. Yep. Well done. Yep. Yep. Best questions so far. Ever. Except for Umpty Madu and Teddy Bear Syrup. Please try harder <laughs> yeah. next time. Try a little yeah. harder, guys. Come on. Yeah. Uh, 688 Attack Sub, you know that you can send in questions literally any time. Yeah, you don't have to be told about an episode in advance. <laughs> Every month. Yeah, yeah. because just- like even if you miss it, we'll just answer it the next month. Um, yeah. If, if you ask a question the day after we record, we will simply answer it next month. Yeah. You could, you could ask us a question in the middle of the month mm. and it would still exist as text in an email. <laughs> yeah. They don't, they don't get auto-deleted. Yeah, after no. 24 hours. It, they're not like bananas. They don't just like go bad after a couple of weeks <laughs> and you have to throw them out. Yeah. We have object permanence and uh, decent memories. It will still exist <clears throat> if we stop looking at it. All right, goodbye. Uh, but we won't. Goodbye, everybody. Yep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs>